Before we get into these episodes real quick, a few of you guys have reached out to me and asked me to go into this show with an open mind saying, please don't drop the show due to the main character. He is very flawed. Things like that in similar regards. I have seen a couple of comments saying L show, L main character, this, that, and the other. And I have heard stories of a f few other reactors dropping it because of the main character. I just want to let you guys know that while obviously if I have an issue with the character, I'm going to address that. You know, I'm going to confront him about it, this, that, and the other. I'm not going to drop a show because of a character. And I thoroughly enjoy flawed characters such as Thorfinn from Vinland Saga or Subaru from ReZero because it leaves a lot of room for growth, character development, and a journey that we felt like we've been along with them. And humans in the real world, aka myself and everyone else, are very flawed, stubborn, and can be vile creatures. So, very realistic. I'm not gonna, hopefully it's not too crazy. I doubt it's gonna turn me away. But I just wanna let you guys know that I'm one of the most open-minded anime watchers out there. So it's very, very, very rare for something to turn me off that much. So I just thought for all you, for it's very minute few of you guys who say this, but for you guys, rest assured, me and Jobless Reincarnation, Mushoku Tensei, I'm, I'm here for the long ride. What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with Mushoku Tensei or Jobless Reincarnation, episodes three and four. This is this this one in particular, episode three, is called A Friend. Now, I do just want to let you guys know before we get into this that I am super sick. So if my voice sounds crazy, which I already know it does because I can hear it, or if I'm coughing, if I have to blow my nose, this, that, and the other, I am very sick. So bear with me, guys. I apologize deeply. It is just me in my raspberry emergency right now, trying to feel better. I am going to hopefully take a nap and eat some food after I record this, you know, just rest up as much as I can, but I apologize ahead of time. I'm very excited to get hop into the show. I personally love Isekai's. Um, I love the premise. I love how open they can be with rules and their systems because they can really do whatever. It's a fantasy world. You know, they can be grounded. They could be not grounded. This, that, and the other. I love the magic system, how, how it's set up so far. I really am a fan of Roxy. I'm really a fan of the whole family. You know, we have Rudy, Powell, Zenith, Lilia the Maid, and then Roxy, who is off traveling the world. So I, my biggest curiosity is what the main antagonist is going to be and what our main goal is going to be. But, <coughs> excuse me, um, I say we hop into it and I am very excited to find out what those things are. Don't forget, if you guys want early access or full length to this show and all the other shows I'm watching, we are four episodes ahead on Patreon. Links are in the description down below, like always for you guys. If you guys want to support me and Patreon's not really your thing, you guys could just leave me a like and a nice comment. It really does help me with that YouTube algorithm. Don't forget to subscribe. Click that bell so you guys always know when I post over here on the Dapper channel. Follow all the social medias, Instagram, Twitch, TikTok, and Twitter. All at Dapper Darius. Much appreciated, y'all. Let's hop into this. Mushoku Tensei. Uh, or jobless reincarnation episode three a friend let's do this yes i didn't even talk about this but i did a lot in the last episode this is the starting line of my life he says i can go out now finally but i'm sure he's gonna run into many issues where he suffers from ptsd he still has her panties he does like a little praying ritual with him Yes, I agree with that. Good man. <laughs> I don't know about all that. <laughs> I like what he said the last episode when he gave him the sword for a gift. He said, keep a sword in your heart, protecting the weak, you know, all that. Such a beautiful environment, you know. Obviously, it's a fantasy world. It's not real life. But at one point, you know, Earth looked somewhat like this. Obviously, there's a lot of darkness, murder, and killing everywhere. But, you know, but... Earth can be a beautiful place, we'll say that. Look at this. Look at that. That'd be gorgeous. See, I know it sounds basic and it sounds weird, but honestly, if I were to be like an Anisekai, I would want to be like an adventurer, you know? I'd want to be able to train, get stronger, have It sounds weird, but I'm down to be an Anisekai main character. Mushoku Tensei, Jobless Reincarnation. I know he said this is the starting line of his life, but it really feels like that, you know, with the title right there. It's not Roxy, is it? She would have, uh, this is, yes. This is exactly the situations I was just thinking about, something that could bring back PTSD. 
Now, how was he going to act in these situations? Whoa, you start throwing rocks, buddy. It's a whole different ball game. Yeah, you got to move in. Smack him with that water. <laughs> yeah, I'd be careful doing incantationless magic, though. I mean, I guess they're just kids, so they can't process how crazy that is, but... Oh, she really has the super hair, huh? Isn't that what it was called? It still sounds like a girl. Are we sure this is a boy? Emerald green hair. Well, it looks like a red gem on their forehead. That is what Roxy said, but this is going to be like... Okay, say touche. But maybe like she will evolve. He, I, I, okay, he, it's a he. Maybe he will evolve. I don't know. Half health explains the ears. <laughs> okay, relax. That's interesting. So I was about to say, do su are superds the only one with that hair, or can anyone have that color of hair? I can see why kids would bully you for having that hair if they match like the demons, but. There you go. Works out. Yep, exactly. That's how this works. I feel like he's talking about his looks way too much. Like, I feel like he is a she. Sylph. Kind of like from um Black Clover. The Wind Spirit. Exactly like Black Clover. But Sylph is a girl in Black Clover. So I don't know, you know? But not everyone can do that. That'd be dope. Yeah, why is Powell upset? Yeah, we didn't punch anyone. We literally splashed water at him. Alright guys, I had to change websites from Funimation to Hulu because Funimation is just not working for me right now. So if the subs look different, I apologize. Did his mom do that to him? How did he have that bruise? That's a good question. Like, I could see why he'd go into it like that, but he's... Mm. It's complicated. Being a parent, hard. Being a child, hard, you know? That's how... Like, so he probably relates to rudy and what he said like i'll just leave i'd regret ever being a part of this family i'd hate like this that and the other you know oh sylph is kind of nice Mm, I don't know how we'd be able to teach you that, but I mean, we could try. It's a good way of verbalizing it. <laughs> I know, it really is. I feel you. <laughs> wow. Two incantationless casters. This is going to be crazy. I've never frolicked through a field of anything. I need to do that before I die. I should be a bucket list thing. Frolicking. They always say that. You know, you got to frolic in a field of flowers to type, you know? Interesting. Ooh, I wonder what they are going to think of Sylph and her hair color and all that. If it's just like a kid thing that the kids would roast her for, or if it's like an actual person thing, you know? Oh, wow. Yeah, in front of your boys as a kid, you know, like... I mean, kids did take baths and stuff together, especially Japanese culture, you know, like the whole bathhouse, communal baths, you know, it's not an uncommon thing, you know. But this being a girl 
is a lot more excessive. Now I've but confirmed it to myself. I don't even feel like I can look. I feel like the FBI is gonna just bust in at any point. You know what I'm saying? No! <laughs> like, they keep showing Rudy's just... Jesus, Mary, and Joseph. Oh, this is going to be just so awkward. This is just... Good. This is how you should be dealing with issues. You know, t ask them why, get their understanding, and then share your perspective and stuff like that, you know. See, he realizes what he did was wrong now. So her full name is her long... I didn't know her name was Sophia. This will be an interesting story if you guys are friends when you guys are adults. That probably makes her feel even worse. She looks like a boy, too. <laughs> What's sadder is that he's older than you, probably. <laughs> he's older than his dad, and he's... <laughs> <laughs> this socially awkward. I want to see Paolo get into a fight with the sword. I feel like he's low-key nice with it, you know? <laughs> they, they do like vulnerability. That's the thing with women advice, it's different for every woman. So it can be great advice, it can be terrible advice. So this is, oh man, speak of the, I, speak of the devil, I don't want to say that. No pun intended, but speak of the sylph, we'll say. There you go. Honestly, as a kid, give it like a, a week or two, everything will go back to normal, yeah. Yes, just purely platonic, you know, that does happen. Just act normally. I've always wanted to be a part of a collective anime laugh. Someone says something, everyone at the same time. <laughs> I know, right? That is crazy. Never mind. That was an interesting episode, to say the least. Interesting. Alright guys, getting into the next episode, this one's called Emergency Family Meeting. Like I said, we did have to switch over to Hulu, so I apologize if the subtitles are not as good. Let's see if I can somehow, there we go. What's going on with Zenith? Oh, she's, oh, I mean, with how much they've been, I'm not surprised. Well, okay. Wait. Wait. That... Yeah. I wouldn't have expected this at all. I like how they play the opening song through like the video of the episode itself, you know, like just actual shots so at least that's what it seemed like because they did this last episode i cannot believe him and lilia were getting it on like that relationship powell and zeniths is not something i thought would be even remotely close to a topic of an episode i thought at this point rudy would already be leaving going on in his adventure starting to form a party but are we going to deal with his day-to-day -day life as a child everyone looks so pissed off like so they do play the opening during actual shots of the episode, which is dope. I like that, but um, I just don't like this gloomy vibe.
This is just not a good situation all in all. So is this what our goal is going to be? Are we going to escort Lilia to her hometown? With our half sibling? <laughs> she is plugged for that. She is clutch. He has a special bond with her just for that alone. It's time I repaid the favor. That's what I'm saying. Rudy's going to escort her. Yes, as a child, you obviously know, but like as a child, it'd be awkward to explain this to them. <laughs> okay, I guess we're saying, you, you, hey. That's, that's a little fucked up, but to get Lilia out of her situation, he's doing this, you know, so... I, Are we recommending she stays here with us and just we have both babies? Okay. That's that's very very kind of a mother in this situation. But she essentially just got told she can live because she has nowhere else to turn, so Rudy did a good thing right there. Really? I didn't need to hear it though. They just need to learn to be quiet, damn near. Powell and Zenith, and all these problems would be so. They got Roxy getting horny in the hallway. They got Lilia getting horny. Oh my god. This is getting kind of etchy. Ecky, however you say it. This is. Okay. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. Well, Lord Rudy just got a new, I don't want to say servant, but a new lifelong helper, we'll say. This is not what I would have thought this show would be at all. Yeah, you could tell who's who. Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, really? Sword God, Water God, and North God. Oh, but you combine a little magic in there, then it gets into a real fight. <laughs> As they're showing Lilia like that. I was about to say, you're a man, right? This kid is seven. These are two perverts. This is the weirdest situation I ever would have seen. Two perverts who happen to be father and son just perverting up together. We speak the same. Mentally, I'm a 40-something bum. Ass. Oh, my. They literally are perfect for each other. He's like the only friend she's had. Well, there's a compromise we can come up with, Sophie. I don't know what you're... Alright, I mean, I think we're eventually going to have to leave. I don't know what her living situation is like, but you can come with us. Hey, if that's all he wants, live happily ever after in a nice peaceful village with the girl he likes, more power to you, brother. Roxy! Two years, I mean, it is true, he was five when the graduation exam happened. The Sharon Kingdom. The seventh prince's tutor. Did he say great men have great lusts? That's a little beyond great lusts, but yes. That is what we brought up a couple episodes ago. That is quite impressive. 
Really? <laughs> oh, that wasn't the letter. God damn it, he got fucking outed. <laughs> <laughs> Both kicked him. That's funny. He did put a disclaimer. It's deaf. That's hilarious coming from a dad. That's so funny. That is quite the big ask. Let's hear him. Mm. He'll earn the money himself. I think a father's always got to feel a little bit proud when their son wants to start earning his own wages, you know? Get a job himself. Who's getting out of this nice looking carriage? Gizlane. Oh my goodness gracious. This is a furry's heaven. Oh, she is brolic. <laughs> she is very short of words how long are we going away what's what's yeah. so i'm so confused he's coming at us a little bit are we is are we trying to prove how much potential and how yeah his use of magic in his actual combat is dope the fire with the mud with the water with the air push Ooh, powell's quick water god style he's like flowing right now i like that yep if that were not a root sword he would be dead right now but he knocked him out, put him on Gislaine's carriage, and now he's gone. Away from Sylphie, away from the village. I obviously have a few questions, but I guess this is going to be where this episode ends, and we're going to get them next episode. Interesting. Both of those episodes had situations in them that I was not expecting at all would ever happen in the show and that made me physically cringe and like physically want to look away from the screen. First off, why do they keep showing Rudy's dingling? I get it. He has a dingling. I don't need to see it. I have my own. I can look at my own. <laughs> Second off, for one as... Because he, even though he was a, a social recluse, you know, he would never, he had one childhood friend that he said he could rub three out to just even the words childhood friend. Don't get me started on that. But he's pretty observant and is able to pick up on a lot of things, even though he was a social recluse. So the fact that he could not pick up that Sophie was a girl is crazy. And that whole situation with the bath, crazy. But the fact that we have Sophie uh, and she is that has that much potential in magic it can, and she can even do incantationless magic is super dope i like her personality she's very friendly um very shy um she seems very loyal though like if anything like exactly how rudy stood up for her when she was bullied if anything happened to rudy i definitely feel like she would go on a limb and try to save him the best she can so i'm very i i i, I like her a lot so far i'm curious her lineage and why she has that green hair. I wonder if she's half like demon, half elf, because she has the elf ears for sure, but she doesn't have like the red gem in the middle of her forehead. So I'm super curious about that. The whole Lilia situation. That is just crazy. Lilia. Wow. Um, yes, wow. Okay, yeah. The whole when she was trying to seduce um, yeah, we're not gonna get started, but <laughs> okay, yeah. That was definitely a thing. So now we have two babies, Norn and Aisha and uh 
they're being raised happily. Powell is a savage. I will say that for sure. But my biggest thing right now is we're going on a job. We're leaving Sophie. So I'm sad that we're leaving Sophie. But we're going on a job with Giz Lane, who used to be friends with Paul, who I'm curious what this job is and how much it's going to pay if we need to fucking go with an ex-mercenary. You know, I'm super curious. This better be pay well. Like, I was expecting we're going to work, like, part-time at the market in the town or something. You know, maybe help chop some of that wheat we've been seeing growing all over the fields i don't know but this is crazy like i said i don't know the end term long term goal i thought maybe it was going to be us escorting lilia back to her hometown with our new half brother but no that'd be a good excuse to leave the family good excuse to run into monsters this that and the other but i really don't know if you guys enjoyed please leave a like let me know your thoughts down below don't forget to subscribe click that bell so you guys always know when i post over here on the dapper channel Follow all the social medias, Instagram, Twitch, TikTok, Twitter, all at Dapper Darius. Don't forget to check out that Patreon where we have early access and full length up to four episodes ahead. All links in the description like always. Don't forget to drink some water. Tell someone you love them. Be safe out there. Have a great day, Dapper Squad. Peace.